Thailand is known as one of the most affordable countries in Asia. But how affordable is it really? In this video, I'm going to try all kinds of things in Thailand that are known to be affordable. I sacrificed every part of my body to film this. And trust me guys, I have tried everything you can possibly imagine. Are things as affordable as people say? And what kind of services are we getting? Let's find out. I want to start by showing you guys this amazing noodle restaurant where they have delicious noodles that only cost 15 baht, which is about 33 cents per bowl. Located near the Victory Monument in Bangkok, this restaurant was kind of a hidden gem that my local food expert friend took me to. This one bowl of noodle right here is a beef rice noodle. This one bowl is only 15 baht. That's like 43 cents, I think. That's like less than a packet of instant noodle. Pretty unbelievable. To be fair, it's a pretty small portion. Uh, I think I could probably down several of these bowls. I mean, at the end of the day, it is still food. I want it to taste good. And my God, it was delicious. Great noodles. They even had different kinds of noodles with different choices of soup and spiciness that were unique. And these grilled pork skewers, they were only seven baht, 20 cents per skewer. But it's So I ended up having three bowls of noodle there. Usually when things are cheap, they're not good. But this place was insanely cheap and also surprisingly good. I like how they give you a lot of organ meat in here too. They also have a noodle without soup. Dried noodle. My friend got it. That looks pretty fantastic too. Well, every meal must end with a dessert, right? And here's my dessert. It's supposed to be coconut milk and coconut sugar in the bottom. Costing only 6 baht or 17 cents, it was a great way to end this meal. If I one day meet a girl who's very demanding, who likes to go out for like fancy desserts, I'll just be like, hey listen, I know a place, they have this fantastic coconut dessert, and I'm gonna bring her here. For a huge lunch of 5 people, it only cost us 440 baht, which is just above $12. Even in Thailand, this is uniquely affordable, but it is true that food in general are very affordable in Thailand. I heard that one thing that can be also affordable in Thailand is clothing, especially from one of these vendors on the streets. So how about I get myself something fashionable? Let's not talk about what they're selling on the left side. I think I, I think I like this shirt. Yeah, this one is for you. For me? Yeah. I think I look very handsome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she agrees. Actually, you are handsome, you know. Oh, yeah. Actually, you are handsome. Okay, I think I'll get this one. Yeah. I think her initial offer was like 500 baht, but I used my ultimate weapons against her, beauty, charm, and awesomeness to haggle it down to 200 baht, which is 565 US dollars. 200 baht? Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm gonna like what I just got. All right, what do you guys think? I like this style of fashion. It's kind of like my personality, bold, aggressive, unorthodox, and lovely. I think it's also worth mentioning that transportation is quite affordable in Thailand as well. For example, this 20 minute train ride within the city cost me 40 baht, which is about $1.10. The train felt clean and safe, and the train lines were quite efficiently planned from what I could tell. I didn't end up using their trains a lot while I was in Thailand, because I had other means of affordable transportation like this. These three-wheeled modified vehicles are called tuk-tuk, and you can get rides within the city for a very affordable price as long as you can haggle it down. Based on my experience, it'll be about 100 baht or $2.50 for a ride that takes about 15 minutes. To many people, I might just recommend getting a taxi because even taxis are like one third of the price of what you would pay in other countries. But Tuk Tuk is cheaper and it's one way to enjoy the city too. Well, this might sound a little random, but over-the-counter drugs in pharmacies in Thailand are also very affordable. So I got this skin cream for my allergies for about $2. And it also seemed that you can get a lot of medicines without prescription, which I think can be convenient if you live here. I'm not sure what that is. Centipede powder, I think. If you're a massage enjoyer, Thailand might as well be your heaven because typically for about five to $10, you can enjoy an hour long soothing massages. Hello. It's 300 baht yes. for an hour of yeah. Thai massage. Oh. That sounds fantastic. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna get the Thai massage for 300 baht. All right, looks like I can manage. So I go in here? Yes. Okay, I believe I have to get changed into some kind of pajama pants and a shirt. 
All right, so I think this is how you get a massage. It's pretty much my first time. I feel like a rich man now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Oh, she has a lot of power in her hands, like that. The massage was performed very professionally. Well, it definitely loosened me up. At times it got a little intense, but I enjoyed it. She's really good. They even gave me a face massage towards the end. Glad I never got plastic surgeries on my face. This would have ruined my expensive procedures. If you guys are wondering if there was such thing as a happy ending, the answer is no. At least the one that I went to was very professional. And come on, 300 baht for that kind of service sounds too good to be true, don't you think? I'm already a happy person, I don't need a happy ending. The massage is done, I just need to get changed now. There was only 300 baht for an hour of massage. There was a fantastic massage. Like, I've got it a few times before in Korea, like once or twice. It wasn't anything close to this. Highly recommend. No happy ending, but I walked away a happy customer. Well, since I'm enjoying my me time, how about I do something else? I heard that the nail salons in Thailand are exceptionally cheap. So for the first time in my life, I'm gonna get some work done at a nail salon. Hi, can I get anything done on my hand? Yeah. Something that you would recommend? Basic manicure. Basic manicure? Yeah. And that is 350 baht? Yeah, 350 So I think what they're doing right now is uh, resurfacing my nail. I knew nothing about coming to a nail salon, but I can see how this can be nice. It's kind of like jumping into a relationship that you're not supposed to. This feels scary and nice at the same time. She's putting on some nice, some kind of nice oil for my cuticle. My cuticle needs lots of love. Now my fingernails are like a blank canvas. Don't you guys feel like we could do a little painting on this canvas? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I want a nice color. So I decided to paint my nails as well for extra 350 baht. I want to get a nice color that represents LGBTQ community but I feel like a man getting any color done on their nails that's, that's gay enough I think I'm just gonna ask them to uh, use their expertise to recommend me a good color I think I got a nice foundation here Honestly, I could model for a magazine with this hand Like I could be in the next Apple commercial What color do you like? Black? You like black? Okay can I do this black? I like that darker gray because it reminds me of my cat. I had a beautiful cat. It was dark gray just like that. This was my cat. My cat. Just like that, yes! So they're putting the color on now. This is a tribute to my cat. What do you guys think? All right, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Do I like it? I don't know, it's up to you guys to decide. I like how it's like pretty good and not quite perfect and some of the gel got on my fingers but that's okay I guess uh, part of beauty in life is in being imperfect Okay, let's talk about something that's more exciting their affordable nightlife Talking about cheap things in Thailand I guess I had to talk about the nightlife here in Thailand I'm here in Pattaya and supposedly it's extremely affordable to have fun at night here in Pattaya No, not that kind of fun Let's just say there were temptations of different kinds and different genders. I think these are just strip clubs of different kinds. Honestly, I've never been to one of those and I don't think I'm gonna have a great time there. Maybe I'll just walk by the beach and see what I can find that can entertain me. If there's one thing that I didn't know about Thailand, it's the fact that this is such a progressive, liberated, romantic city that um, I'm seeing a lot of international couples, mostly between older Caucasian gentlemen and the local Thai girls around their granddaughter's age. I guess when you really love someone, age really is just a number. I'm sorry guys, perhaps I shouldn't be here judging people, but it just made me a little sick to see so many of these gentlemen that look like they took a day off from their life support for their Asian grandfather experience. Okay, I've seen a lot of funny bars and uh, I have nothing against the workers there, but it's just not something that I enjoy personally. Instead, I came to this pizza place. I think I'm gonna get a good pizza. Maybe some beer. So this restaurant was selling cocktails for like 5 to $7. And their beer was about $3. That's twice the prices that I've seen in some places. Their pizza was about $8, which is kind of expensive for food in Thailand. It seems that in Thailand, the businesses that sell more Western things that cater to Western customers tend to be a bit pricey. 
They were okay, but my experience in Thailand is that the Western food is generally mediocre. Like, they're pretty good, but not like amazing. But hey, that's enough to make me happy. You know what else can be affordable in Thailand? A haircut. I found this awesome local barber shop, and they're gonna give me a haircut for 150 baht. Huge shout out to Sawai Barber Shop. Okay, I'm ready. I'm Korean, so I believe having a nice haircut is tied to my existential meaning. And a bad hair day in my country is simply unacceptable. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, what? What style? Okay, one second. Do you like K-pop? No, you don't like K-pop? Okay, you should know this gentleman. Do you know Bam Bam? I can do it like this? Yes? Turns out I can look like a K-pop star too. Very handsome hair. Should I tell them I want to become a K-pop star? I want to look like a K-pop star. <laughs> He's like, good luck. He started trimming off my hair very aggressively, so I got a little nervous. That's a very bold, ambitious cut. My head just got lighter from that. I feel like he's trying to make my hair the same as his. Hmm, which K-pop company should I join? I never thought of that. Too many companies, there's only one talent. This is either going to go really well or really horribly. Yeah, he's doing a pretty phenomenal job, I think. By the time it was over, my facial expressions got a little more tense because I just couldn't imagine myself being a K-pop star anymore. But to be fair, I think I asked for the kind of style that he's completely not used to. He probably has no idea that what he's touching right now, it's not a person's head. It's the future of K-pop. Well, my hair was gone, but at least my confidence was still there. Now I just need to develop a talent and get ready for my first album. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Well, one thing's for sure, it was very affordable. They kindly offered to um, apply some hair products on me as well. I'm going to tell him, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> They're borrowing each other's hair wax. It's funny. So the hairdresser started applying all kinds of products on my hair. And what I mean by all kinds, I mean all kinds. I'm not really sure where this is going, but I guess I like it. Wow, thank you. The word gorgeous might not be enough to describe this. I also noticed that the size of my head got a little red from the razor blade. I'm sure he just intended my skin to grow back stronger. Oh, Jesus Christ. I look just like him. <laughs> so overall, I really enjoyed my experience in Thailand. It's a beautiful place with a lot of kind people. And your money can take you pretty far in this country. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have time, go ahead and watch my awesome videos too. Okay, goodbye.